So just start the lab. So here, what is expected is like, uh, what is that? Marcos, your challenge starts here. Create an S3 bucket. Capture. See what all things you need to do. Challenge means that he will not give any uh, briefing. Upload an object to the bucket. Create a screenshot. Try to access the bucket using web browser. Capture the screenshot. Make the object publicly accessible. Take a screenshot. Access the object using web browser. Okay. Access that object, whether it is coming or not. Capture the screenshot. List the contents of S3 bucket using AWS CLI. So you need to configure your CLI access also. Okay. Is this clear? What all things which we need to do? Okay. So yeah, access the object. So I think, uh, did he give any uh, information related to what files needs to be uploaded or something? Nothing, he has not given anything. So please uh, get ready. Yeah, we will also be using this CLI at a later stage, at a later stage, configuring our access key, secret access key, all these things. So once the lab is ready, we will do that. Lab is still in creation. I'll also share you some notes for doing this better one, okay? I'll also share something which will help you for this particular one. Meanwhile, let it start. So once it has started, just log into the server. One server is also there. Our aim is basically for uh, Amazon S3. I'm just sharing a notes to all of you. This is basically CLI commands. We will be helpful for you all for doing this lab. My lab is still under progression. Yeah, did you all receive this one? Yes, sir. Okay. So you all know how to configure the CLI, etc. This is mainly meant for buckets. This is mainly meant for buckets. So many things are there, which I want to discuss along during this particular lab. Right, I think my lab is ready. I can click AWS. I can click AWS and simultaneously download the keys and log in into your server. So you have your key. You have your IP address. Okay, log in into the server. So in my case, it is three. Remember, it is a challenge lab. You need to be more careful.
and also see the show CLI. What do you need to do? Copy this one and also configure your CLI first. This particular one, you need to copy in your vi.aws vi. You can say dot aws or dot aws credentials. Sudo. Don't have a directory at all. Oh, don't have a directory at all. So we need to create this directory. credentials Did you all follow up what I was doing? Sir, can you repeat again, sir? Okay. So you have logged in, right, already? Yes, sir. Okay. So follow these steps. First of all, you are in your home directory. And also your credentials is there here, this file. Copy this particular one. Yes, sir. Right? Just copy this particular one. Now what do you need to do? You say mkdar.aws. Done, everyone? Done, sir. Please follow. Very important this one. We are configuring CLI. CD.AWS. CD right? Yes. When you go into the directory, nothing will be there. You have to create a folder called as credentials. You say sudo vi credentials. Exactly. Name should be exactly same to same. And copy paste. Paste that one. Exactly same to same what you are given. And whatever you are doing, you have to take screenshots. That is what it is expected. Every step you need to take a screenshot. Maybe later on also you can do, but this is a challenge lab. It is expected that you are doing everything CLI mode only. So sudo dot? Sudo VA. Okay. VA, VA. So you are already in dot AWS directory, right? Yes, sir. See this at the top, you should have like this dot AWS. No, sir. Done, everyone? No, Copy paste. So this part is done now. This part is done now. So the testing is, the testing is AWS S3 LS. It should show without any error, it should come back. So this is configured.
right so what is the first task which he has asked us to do in this you see the task list your challenge create an s3 bucket create an s3 bucket how will you create an s3 bucket aws s3 mb make bucket make bucket in my case i am going to create rnketh so bucket right Yeah, like this. Don't give like that. S3 colon slash slash Anand KTH. And how do you verify? S3 LS. It should show you the bucket name. If you have done so, fantastic. I'm just pasting in this particular one for you to understand how you should get. This is a challenge lab, remember? This is a screenshot. You should be able to see this one. And if you go over into this AWS and go with S3, you should see your bucket. If it is there, fantastic. Otherwise, ask me. The bucket should be created. Yeah. Is this yes or no? So with this, the first one is done. Create S3 bucket. Yes, sir. Done. Everything you have to do with CLI first, first at least. Upload an object into this bucket. You need to upload some files. Sir, yeah, we can't access the docs here, like notes. Docs, sir. notes, JAWS. It's already shared, right? No, sir. Thank you, sir. Done, everyone. You should see your bucket. Done, sir. So, first thing is that we access the system. I mean, Linux server. Okay. And then we configured CLI. So, the doc, the AWS secret access keys, access key, all the things is given. We created a credential file. We created a credential file. So, after that, we were able to create a bucket. Now, he is asking us to upload an object into a bucket object so what object which we he did he mention any object specifically at the top or somewhere like that no right okay here he has given i think ips uh, something copy the value uh, Save the file as labdetails.txt. So that file he wanted to have as a text editor. Post. He didn't mention anything. No, this is something else. This is for something else. Okay, so what do you do now? What do you do now? You create a file. You create a file. So what we will we will create? Maybe vi. Go back to your home directory. Go back to your home directory. I think there are some activity files, sysops. Some files are there. Static website is also there. We will create the static website, right?
Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. So we will copy all these files into S3. We will copy all these files into S3. So I have given you the notes. You can also see that notes. How to do that? How to do that? AWS, AWS, S3, S3, okay. CP, CP for copy, right? CP, maybe we'll test one file first, index.html, here in your file, index.html, okay? Where do you want to copy? You want to copy into your bucket, S3, column slash slash, column K-E-T-H, press enter, upload is successful. You should verify this file whether it is there or not. Yeah, it is there. Done, everyone? Yes, sir. Everyone, could you see your files? Index.html. Sir, in order to upload, we need to know the file name. So it is already there. Go to your sysops activity files, which are there. Yeah, yes, sir. I'm, the from, I'm asking apart from this, sir. You should have those files, right? Yeah. So you asked us to, I thought we need to create our own files. No, we can use this particular one. Okay. We will try one more file. We'll try one more file. We can upload any type of format, sir, or only files? Any file. Any any format. File. Maybe a video, photo, anything. Anything, anything. S3 is like your uh, Google Drive. Okay. Google Drive. Does Google Drive specify only certain specific files? No. No. Same thing. We are doing with CLI, that's all. Earlier, we used to upload the files, right? Yes, sir. But here, we are copying the files using your Linux. This thing. Okay. We'll copy one more file. AWS S3. You can say this one. Space S3. Did we miss something? CP, sir. CP. <laughs> right. We need to give command CP. Twenty one MB completed. You just try to refresh, you should see. Got it, everyone? Done, sir. Now, yes, sir. Now, Done, sir. now we need to copy some folders also. Folders, CSS. And images, there are something which is there. CSS images. We need to use an option called as recursive here. Recursive. I don't remember exactly the syntax, but I'll try. Okay. So AWS, S3, CP, same thing, syntax is same. So I'll say CSS. Okay. I mean S3 slash slash. And say recursive. Let me check. Let me check. Do you don't press? Okay. I think it looks successful. Oh, I think. I think we can do in another way. I'll tell you. Go back to your home directory. Okay. AWS S3. S3, everyone, you can do like this. Go back to your home directory. CP, CSOPS, okay, to your S3 bucket and say hyphen, hyphen, 
रिकर्सिव रिकर्सिव यू शुड सी ऑल द फाइल्स इन द बकेट विल बी कॉपीड ऑल द फाइल्स इंक्लूडिंग डिरेक्टरीज फोल्डर्स एवरीथिंग गेट्स कॉपीड so just run only this command there are certain files will be overwritten that's okay so this is the command which i have given just verify in your pocket what has happened really all files are there yes sir i just want to delete the file which i had done manually did you see all the four folders index yes, static website dot yes, images you go explore the images you should see the images files you should see the css you see the style dot css cascaded style sheet you can take a screenshot each and everything you need to take a screenshot so upload an object to the bucket yes this is done try to access the object using the browser which is also done this one right okay third part we will be doing now we will be doing now try to access the object using browser no we are only testing whether it is it is really there in your s3 bucket or not we did that then everyone till now then if you want you can take the screenshot also now let us understand about how you can explore these things i mean accessing uh, using this web browser so here here you see this one there is one index.html file index.html file click that you will get a url so this is my url here okay i just paste like this here this is my url okay can i access open a browser can i access this now no can i access this what is the error which i am getting access denied access denied so now let us learn something more so this is what it is asking you so whether can you access this one try access the browser okay so make the object publicly accessible he mentioned that to make this object publicly accessible so how to do that how to do that you can see this one you can see this one this object click this one and say properties and say properties that properties i think permissions permissions we are going to give access right and say what is this currently the status block all public access off so let us on you say edit so this is in permission select that particular one and say edit block all public access you can see this one yes sir right and this one bucket settings if you block all public access public won't access so unblock that so our, our unticking is already there so just to say and confirm you are making it less secure now because public can access that's what he has asked you to do make the object publicly accessible that is what not the bucket only the element 
Yeah, we have done that. So you can see this. Still what? Now what is the error which is showing? Access denied. Currently it is showing a still access denied. We have given public access, but still it is not coming. Means that there is a policy which is not allowing you. Is this clear? You see this one bucket policy. If you are good in JSON, you can write a policy. No, if you are not good, or I'll I'll show you, show you later. You can use this using ACL. You can use using ACL. So go to ACL. So two methods. One is if you write JSON, you can write the policy and allow that. It's not allowing as of now. So what we are going to do, we are going to basically change the ACL. Right? Yes or no? Yes. yes, sir. Okay. So now for this particular one, what you can do, where is that? In ACL, yeah, edit. Edit is there, right? Just go to edit. And see that everyone, everyone, public access is given. Yeah. Now try to refresh. Still, we are getting access denied, right? Okay, uh, what we can do, okay, go to bucket, go to bucket once again, permissions, permissions. So here in ACLs, ACLs, okay, first we need to give uh, what we call as learn more. Yeah, okay, learn more. Does not recommend granting access to everyone. Uh, I think already he has given some ACL, I think. Let me check, let me check whether he has given or not. We try to give, say changes. Okay, go to your bucket. I'll tell you, select the file, under actions, make public using ACL. Yeah, the last part. And make it public. Success. I'll show once again, this, now it should appear. Yeah, it's able to. Should I show you once again? Yes, sir. Go to your bucket. Go to your bucket, select the file. Select the file. We need not go through the permissions. Permissions we already enabled the public, right? So what we what we need to do? Select the file. He has mentioned that very clearly. Only for the file you need to give, not for all the bucket data. In actions, in actions, scroll to the bottom. Make public. Make public. ACL. Make public using ACL. Select that. So already I have given make public. If you have, you need to give a tick or something like that. And then say make public. Successfully. Yes, sir. Now you see your URL, whether it's coming or not. Index.html is accessible. But yes. the background, all those things are not coming. Why? Because the styles, nothing is coming. Because we didn't give permissions to those. Yes. Right. Can you share the URL? Whoever has done. I want to check at least some of them. Okay. Suresh, let me check. Yeah, I can see. I can see. Yes. Satyanarana. Yes, I can see. Arvind. Also, yes. The Bharatsa is also there. Yeah, I can see. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay. Uh, yeah. Is there anyone else who needs help? So now you understood about how to upload files into the bucket. 
and also how to enable public access. And then later on, for individually, for the files, how to enable ACL. ACL is nothing but access control list, the permissions. Yes. Bucket level, I mean, object level permissions. So this is what? Publicly accessible. Yes. Access the object using the web browser. Capture the screen. Right? So suppose if you want to have access to all the objects, all the objects, select all the objects and see how the website really changes. Okay. Select all the objects. Go to permissions first. Okay. Edit this one. Yeah, block all public access, which we already done. Save. Confirm. Right. And then provide the permissions. So select all the objects and say, no, where is that? And the action, sir. Action. Uh -huh. Third one. Okay. Third one. Actions, actions, actions. Make public using ACA. For all the objects I'm giving, make public. You will see what happens now. Success. The background also. Yes, and images all are a bit. You are seeing the full website, right? Yes. Pop. Pop. All the big JPGs and all these things, the website is accessible. Is this clear? Yes, sir. This is nothing but your static website. So here I want to show you something else. This is the URL which you can promote. Okay. So also, so also go to properties, go to properties. At the end, at the end, you have something which is called a static website posting, which is currently disabled. Right? Yes. Enable this one. Enable this one. Okay. What is the index document? Index.html. Index.html. That's all. And just say save changes. Right? Scroll down, you'll get a web URL. Earlier, it was like this index. Now it's not like that. It is dot com. You can see now it's a dot com, the website. Anand K E T H, that is my bucket name. S3, website US East one, Anand uh, Amazon AWS dot com. Is this clear? Sir, so once repeat the last episode. Okay. Go to permissions. Go to permissions. Uh, sorry, properties, not permissions, properties. Go to the bottom. Go to the bottom. Okay. And say edit. From disable, you say enable. Did that. And in index document, just provide index.html because our file is index.html, right? If it is something else, you provide that name. And just say save changes. Save changes. And scroll down and see the there will be a URL which will be coming for you, static website. In the name of dot com. Yeah, yes, Barasai. Yes, I can see the website running. So learned about static website hosting, right? Now everyone. If you have your web page, you can post it here. See all types, types of like your CSS, you can, JSS can, what type of documents can be used here? CSS, JSS, and what else? HTML files, JPG, those files only can be used here. Not PHP and all those things. Right? Understood everyone how to host a static website? 
Yes, sir. So take yes, all sir. the screenshots. Take all step by step. You please go. So this is our exercise. See, this will list the contents of S3 bucket using CLI. We have already have the CLI also. See, how do you list the buckets? How do you list the buckets? AWS, S3, LS, okay. Uh, S3, LS means it will show you the bucket only. If you want to see the bucket contents, AWS, S3, LS, S3, colon, slash, slash. On KTH. You can see the bucket contents also. Is this clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll teach you something else. I'll teach you something else. You learned about ACLs, right? You saw we have given using ACL. Suppose if I turn off the ACLs, what will happen? The website won't work, sir. It won't work. Okay. We'll turn off the ACL. See here, this is the ACL, right? And say, or you can select and then uh, all the elements in your bucket and turn off the ACL. Let us see what will happen. Our actions we don't have here right go to permissions the other way is turn off ACLs edit mm. Yeah, yeah. What you can do, what you can do, we will disable the ACLs. Go to permissions, select the bucket, select the bucket. This is beyond the exercise I'm teaching, but still you can make it in the screenshots. Go to permissions. So I'm showing you how you can turn off ACLs. So here this ACLs is there. Above that, there is an object ownership. Just say edit. Here ACLs are enabled, just say disabled. And say save changes. Will the website work now? Strictly speaking, it should not work. Oh, but working, sir. It's working. <laughs> it's working. I think it will take a little bit more time, I think. So bucket owner enforced cannot be applied because you have existing ACLs. Oh, okay. Already some ACLs has been configured. Some ACLs has been already allowed. So even though you have done, those things are not getting through. So what I do, what I do, just delete all the files. We'll do once again. I'm deleting all the things. Just say empty, delete. So you'll also learn about how to. Okay, I'll show you how you can delete all the files using uh, CLI. Right? Here are all the files you want to delete using CLI. Because those files are already granted. So it cannot be revoked again. ACLs. Okay. So what you can do. AWS. S3. RM. RM. RM for? Remove. 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 One of the file will remove. And then we will remove all. RM. S3. Colon. Colon. I mean colon. Slash. Slash. RM. ATH. Slash. Uh, I can say. Uh index.html or maybe static website.html removed yes or no yes sir similarly you can try to remove uh, the other one also index.html Done. You can say ls. Only two directories are there now. So what I do, I will try to remove CSS hyphen hyphen recursive. I don't know whether this will work or not. Yeah, it has deleted. 
Yeah, you have only images. Okay. Sir, what is recursive for sir? Recursive means subdirectory subfolders all the objects. Okay. Just remember that. Okay, let's remove everything. So do I have anything in the bucket now? Nothing is there. Nothing is there. Sorry. Nothing. You can also remove the bucket. AWS. AWS S3. RB for remove bucket. No more. No data is there now. You can see here in buckets. Do you see any data verification? Do you see yes, sir. your bucket? No more, right? No, I should refresh here. No buckets. Now let us do this exercise once again, but this time we are not going to use policies. So this time we are going to use policies rather than giving ACLs. I'll teach you the policy. Okay, if you want, you can create bucket using CLI. Maybe a little bit more practice. MB. Created. So I want to copy all the files. This one. How do I do? AWS S3 CP. You can say SysOps. Activity files. Okay. S3 colon slash slash okay and say a recursive all files copied Ready, everyone? So if you say ready, I can teach. I removed off everything using CLI. Again, I'm doing this one. See, in the document, you will have everything over there, which I have shown you. Yeah, this one, how to create a bucket. This is the command, how to list the buckets, or list the, delete the bucket, et cetera, et cetera, all these things. So these are the lab outputs also. You can go through this one, which may be helpful for your CLI practice. Yeah, done everyone, yes or no? Done sir, removed everything. Removed everything and again copied. Oh. I want to teach you policy now. See, this is not there in your, uh, what we call as in your syllabus, in your this thing, but I'm teaching you because most of the people don't go with ACLs. They go with uh, policies. Anyway, it is always good to know about the policy. Oh, okay. We can uh, govern that objects using policies also. Ready, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm sending you a sample policy. Okay. Sample policy. Please keep all this documentation good. 
Don't throw it off. Later on, you have to search for each and everything. So I'm just sending you a bucket policy. Just open that. A text file. Leave it. I'll explain about this policy. This is a JSON document. So here in your folder, you see this, all the files ex as dis existing. If you go and select your index.html, will this work now? It won't work. It won't work. It is saying as not, not. I mean, access denied. Access denied. See this one? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So earlier, what we have done is that you go to permissions. This one, Anand KTH in my folder, in my bucket, just say permissions. Give public access. Edit and say block all public access there, right? Just say save changes. Confirm. So it should be untick, first of all. I tell you, untick. Block all public access should be off. Is this done? No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, let us learn about policy. We will create a policy. Okay. So, here, this is the policy. Earlier, we have gone using ACL object ownership, right? This one, this method, we have gone ACL. But now we do not want to go with that method. I, I strictly disabled all these ACLs. Okay. Just say edit, edit the bucket policy. So here I need to write something in JSON. Open this document, which I have sent you just now. This one. So all your JSON document starts with version. That is 17, 10, 2012. It is standard. Okay. It is standard for every JSON document, especially here in AWS or whichever, whatever JSON document, we have this 17, 10, 2012 as version, the first line. And here, what is the identifier SID? Public read get object. So I want to get an object. So I am giving effect as allow, allow. For which object? All the objects, asterisk. Wildcard, all the objects inside the bucket. No, sir, I want to have only asterisk.html. You can give that. Right? S3 get object. So now, what is that object name, bucket name? You have to remove this, your bucket name here, only the caps part and write the bucket name. Remove this, your bucket name here. That's all. Don't remove columns or anything else and provide Anand KETH in my name. Slash all the files. Slash all the files. All the For which user? Okay. All the users and all the files. Or if you say only index.html, it will work only for index.html. Is this clear, everyone? Copy this one. Don't modify the original file. Keep it safe. And paste it here. It should look exactly like this. Do not miss out any syntax. And just say, save changes. Save changes. Okay, now we have given policy. You, you can see this policy which is printed. Try to access now. The website should be accessible. Understood about policy? Yes, sir. Did all of you get? I'm not seeing much people doing this exercise, but if you are not doing, you will repent later, I tell you. You will repent later. Perfect. I hope you are done using this bucket policy. Yes, sir. So if you want to have specific file only, specific file, 
You see this one again, I say edit. You can do that also, specific file. Not asterisk. I'll say asterisk dot HTML. Only HTML files are accessed. And just say save. What will happen you see now? The graphics, all those things won't be coming. Did you see? Did you see? I don't see the graphics. Only index.html is coming. Sir, it says uh, unknown error uh, API response. Where? After editing it, sir. No, it should not. I removed my name and gave index.html. Name should be there. The bucket name should be there. If there is no bucket name, how will in Anand KTH slash asterisk. In that asterisk, asterisk.html. Okay. Right? Yes, sir. Bucket should be there. Which bucket you want to give? You cannot give for all, right? Okay, okay, sir. Understood. Right. Now it is functioning. Yeah, Arvind also. Yes, I think. I think, yes, it's functioning. Yeah. Only for index.html was given. So understood all the permissions, right? Block public access, ACS, yes, policy. Save that policy. It will be really, really helpful for all of you, I tell you. So if you want to create your resume, I tell you, create a bucket and keep it static, finished. Access for the public. You will not be paying much also. You saw that, right? Even for... 10 GB or 1 GB also, you pay very less. You pay very less. Hardly in cents. Yeah, Barasai. Yeah, perfect. So these are all the things which are very, very important, especially static website. We learned about ACLs. See, there is a concept called as cross-origin, cross-origin cross resource sharing. Maybe from a different region to this region, if you want, you can have this one. You can give permissions to different regions also. Not much. This is advanced, a bit advanced. I'll tell you something which is more important. Properties, you see. There is a concept called as versioning. You know what is versioning? Uploading multiple files, sir, without overriding. No. Nah. Uploading the with same, same name, sir. With same name. name, same name, multiple times. Yes, sir. Okay, let us see this one. Let me edit this file. Edit this one. Maybe I'll enable this one versioning now. So once you enable, you cannot disable. That is for sure. From disable to enable, you can do. Enable to disable, you can't do. So I'm enabling now. What will happen? You see. Right now, you see this one. The versioning is enabled now. Even you see this one buckets. This is the file. Okay. And you can ask show versions here. See this one? You have only, there is no version ID. What I'll do? What I'll do? Since anywhere I'm here, first watch this one, how I, I'm doing. I'll try to override index.txt. What will happen? You see. AWS, CP, S, S3, CP. Okay. Uh, okay. I want to copy only one file, not all. AWS S3 CP index.html. S3 
3 colon r dot ADH. Yeah, it has copied. Try to refresh here. You will see the version ID here. Did you see version ID? Yes or no? Yes, sir. And what is the website here? This is my website, right? I'll rename this one. Okay, just watch. VIA index.html. Uh, mom, right? Looking for mom and AB, mom and pop cap. I'm trying to change the title. Okay. Enough. Enough. Once again, I'm trying to copy. It has copied. Since I have enabled versioning, if I try to refresh, I'll see two copies here. Index. Is it not? This is my previous copy. This is my second copy, which has done. Let me try to refresh. I think we did somewhere else, I think. The title, right? Oh, here it should have been. Yeah, welcome to AWS Restart Cafe. In the title it has come, not in the heading. Yes. You got it, what it is there in the title. Right? Yes. Suppose, due to some reasons, I want to restore the old one. So what should I do? This is already there, this is the old one. You can see the date and time. 11.17 and 11.19. You will always have this file. You will always have this file, right? You can also save link as, or you can copy this file, download also file. See this one? This file, you can maybe uh, download. Was it downloaded? Yeah, index.html is downloaded. I want to delete this one. I want to delete this file. Delete. Yeah, it has deleted now. You see this one? In my buckets. This one is deleted, one is there. Still you see this original one. This one is like this. Was it not written back to the previous one? Yes, sir. That's yeah. a mom and pop cafe. Got it, right? Understood about versioning, everyone? Yes, sir. Sometimes it is helpful. If anyone accidentally deletes also, you'll have a backup copy. Previous version also, if you make a change and upload, you'll still have a backup copy. That is called as versioning. And in S3, you have this versioning. By default, it will not be enabled. You need to enable that. 
So here, see once you have enabled, you cannot disable. You will not get that option disabled. Okay, suspension is there. I acknowledge, I think it is there. It is there previously, it was not there, but it's now there. So once if you do that, what will happen is that you don't have versioning. This show versions will not be there. Okay, whichever has done will be there, not, not much. From now onwards, it will not be there. Is this clear? Tagging, you know. Encryption, you know. Using KMS, you can encrypt. You can encrypt the data. If you are having your KMS key, then you can de decrypt. Now, this is one question you may get in the exam, which is called as intelligent diary. Listen, everyone. Very important. See here, the last column of these files. What is the storage class? Standard. Right? Standard is having the highest cost. Yes, sir. Standard, yes. highest. Standard. Yesterday we saw the calculator. Yeah, yes, sir. The next one, infrequent access, glacier. So it's here. Here, what you can do, what you can do in intelligent tiring, you can create rules. I'll create a configuration. Saying that configuration name, maybe I'll say config one, conf one. Okay. Uh, prefix, if you want any specific file or all the files, I'm not specifying anything. Okay, enable rule actions. This is called as an archive access tag. I select that days until. So I'll say, maybe I'll say 30 days or maybe 180 days. Okay. 180 days. Deep archive. Maybe I can say 365 days. Okay. And say create. This is called as intelligent diary. You can push the data. So I, I, I'm creating a policy like this. Okay. Prefix. Maybe you can say uh, permit. The name, some name. Yeah, you have created. You have created. After 180 days, this will be going to uh, the archive tire, glacier, deep archive, deep glacier. This is one. So, how do I change my tires from uh, standard to infrequent access or something? So, for this, you can go to management, life cycle rules. Both of them look very similar. That is only for tiring to glacier. You can create a life cycle rule. Okay. So rule name, maybe I'll say rule one, something, any, any name you can give. Limit to specified or all objects to the bucket. I acknowledge. Okay. Move the current versions of objects between storage classes. I can say that to standard IA. You can choose any of these. One zone IA. Yesterday we learned, right? Glacier, deep glacier, etc. But we use mostly this one only. IA. After how many days? Maybe 30 days. I can say that. Maybe one more. You can say, I'll say after glacier, maybe I can say uh, deep glacier archive. I can say up to after 365 days. Okay. I acknowledge. I'll say create a rule. So there is a rule now which has been created. There is a rule now which has been enabled. After 30 days, what will happen? It will go to infrequent access. And after 365 days, what will happen? This bucket will go to glacier. 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 Understood everyone life cycle configurations? Yes, yes, sir. This is how you can control your storage tires in S3. Sir, so for how many days will glacier store, sir? Lifelong. You pay, he has long as you pay. Okay, sir. All right. You'll get your monthly bills. It will be there. That's the reason why I said that. Durability is how much? For all your storage types, what is the durability? Hmm? Uh, 11, 11, 9. 9. 11, 11. 9. Or 11. 
nine nine dot nine nine. Yes, sir. That is the longest duration which you can have. Means that lifelong you can have durability. Amazon doesn't restrict it. I think we have done good things in S three. We have done good things. Starting, we learned about how to basically configure your CLI. We created bucket using CLI. We also uploaded data from CLI, recursive, all these things. Okay. And then we also gone through the bucket management. So we saw about how to give block public access. Okay. Off. We did that. We also did this ACLs. ACLs. Gave one specific file and the entire bucket files also we have given ACLs and we verified it is coming. And then we also learned about static website creation. The index.html also learned with it, .com. Fine, with that URL. Later, we also, I also taught you about this uh, policies, bucket policies. We learned that. We learned even versioning. Versioning. I specified how to delete the file and how to uh, see, you see the old versions, etc. And then we also learned about the policies. I mean, the lifecycle policies, intelligent tiring, etc. My suggestion, every bit you can expect as a question. So practice not only the exercise which is given, mostly the other things also, which will be really, really helpful. I have shared the policy also. Please try to do it. And remember, if you become a cloud administrator, maybe 50 to 60% of the time, time you will be working on S3 Sophia. Right? S3 Sophia. So remember, this will be a good exercise for all of you. That's the reason why I said that 184 is an important lab for all of you. Done, everyone? Done. Yes, sir. Please do this exercise multiple times tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Please do. All I can say is that this is an important exercise, not only for your exam, but also for your real time. This one, 184.